It looks like my mowing trail has definitely seen some better days. But this is good. This is good because look right over there. We've got some new wood. Yeah! Man, I should not have left my pants down this morning. You got my wood out here. And if there's ever one of those days when you mow non-stop and you get really thirsty and the cup holder on your tractor isn't big enough to hold like a Foster's Big Mouth oil can or something, Foster's oil can, you gotta get one of these babies. This is a homemade cup holder exclusively from Bazaar for a Head. Along the field of being safe, he's wearing gloves and a full face shield with a safety visor in it. I'm gonna be wearing impact resistant safety glasses. So, I'm gonna put these on my face we're gonna get our Pepsi, which was off forehead. That was a cause. See, that's about just how rotten the lumber on this trailer is. Well, I can't support my big ass. <laughs> okay, we had a little change of plans here. We're gonna try to get all the old lumber out first, so we can. You see, the old boards are cut to nine inches wide. The new ones are two two by twelve, so they're gonna be eleven and a half, I think. Maybe they're two by tens. I don't remember. Go big or go home. We so, found the biggest tool we have. Couldn't find a circular saw, and we ain't gonna handsaw this stuff. So we chainsawed this stuff. <laughs> got a new chain out, so it cuts really good, too. We got firewood right here. Yeah, it's yeah. plenty good on the inside. Yeah. So, let's work this out. Miss Offer, I'd give that one of your genuine tugs. Don't knock my stream trimmer off. Oh yeah, hang on a second, hang on buddy boy. Heave! Someone's having a bonfire tonight. Booyah! Look at that everybody, it's starting to look like the frame of a trailer. Anyway, eh, we'll... I'm tired, how long have we been working? This chainsaw is really making this go by fast, isn't Ooh, it? I'm breaking the sweat out here. You can see what we've started to do here, we started to cut this weld. So we're going to call in the big boys here, the big six inch grinder. And I'm going to cut the weld here and then cut that weld and, and probably get what I can in the corners there. And then do these three, the corner weld, that one and that one. And then this board, this piece of steel, this eighth inch thick steel ought to just come right out with maybe some persuasion to break the corner welds where it can't get in there with our circular grinders. be hot man yeah that gets hot I can hear those brakes with my earbuds on. <laughs> free? Yeah, you're free now. You just yep. got the corners. I got him left. Uh, he's an itty bitty little one. Yep. Itty bitty. Itty bitty. Itty bitty. Old wood, new wood. <laughs> yeah. I love the smell of grinding in the afternoon. Burnt metal. Burnt Diesel metal. smoke makes me horny. <laughs> Yeah. 
Burnt jeans yet? <laughs> no. More like burnt hands. Yeah. Gotta smell the love of burning. Yeah, that tube gets hot, doesn't it? Yeah. Give it a couple breaks. Hell. You might even be able to hit that with the punch now. Core chisel. There's yeah, not a whole is. lot left of that weld. Ouchie! <laughs> yeah. for the corners. Yay, corners. What you doing there, bizarre furhead? What you got? Fire. Oh, sh crap. We got a fire. We got a fire. We got some sparks landing on some of this rotten wood here. Nothing, well, that's no good. Nothing too extravagant, you know, just smolders, but. That's why it pays to have one of these handy. We about had to use it just now, right? Not really. We had water. Because it's surely working hard to keep this air hose inflated anyway. We got all the welds broken loose on the flat side of the trailer on the front side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get out the oxyacetylene torch because I don't have a grinder that can fit in there. And the software has a little angle grinder or cutoff tool or whatever. Can't fit in there either. So we're going to get that out and we're going to just blast that weld off there. And then we're going to be able to take this whole bar off and then go out to the, well, we're going to get our boards in after we do this bar, after we get that removed and see how well those boards fit. So stay tuned. You clean the tip, right? Cutting head. Cutting head. Anyone want a barbecue? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it? Yep. <clears throat> that is some hot metal right there, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. The way that's smoking. Tap it, yeah, tap it, you gotta look. That's what not to do. Where's, to your, where's your big lighter? Come on. <laughs> where's the cigarette? <laughs> you gotta light your smoke off your torch. No. 
Now this is how we cut wood planks to the proper size. Yeah, right. This is how we burn the house down. <laughs> Beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Now we take our grinder and dress the edge. And After it's cooled down. <laughs> yeah, we'll worry about that one after the farm. Go get some pliers or something and get that out of there so we can test fit the board. Cheater. How? Cheater. <laughs> You're using your gloves. <laughs> Junk. You know what, bizarre for a head? We should have done that in all the welds. Slacker! Then we should... Well, if we did that, we wouldn't have been able to play with our fancy dandy tools, you know? That's right. Real men gotta play with them power tools. Oh, yeah. Now, where's the power tool B? <laughs> Alright, so we ran into a little bit of a problem here with our plan. We didn't want to break this weld, but we're gonna have to anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut here and there at the other yellow mark. And then I'm just gonna try to bend this metal up with my pry bar and so the, the two by tens will fit in easier. All right, well I got four out of the eight boards installed. Are we done yet? And what we've found out is our boards range from anywhere to inch to inch and a half too long. All right, well we got all of our boards in, all eight of them. We had to cross cut this one down to eight and a quarter inches, so it fit good. Have a little room for expansion. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna dress these edges, get the slag off of them, and then we're gonna go out to the farm where the arc roller is. I'm gonna arc roll this band back into place. So Bizarre Furhead's gonna do the dressing, I guess, and then it'll be time to do some welding. A, a cold start here of this old truck for all my YouTube subscribers. Hi! Hi! Well, it smells like a girl. We got no air! Okay. We have not even 20 pounds of air in this old boat. See that? Not much air at all. Not even enough air to hump a horn. That was fun. <laughs> I love hearing that old Mac. Alright, YouTube land, we got our rods picked out. He thinks he's a bug. I'm gonna go wash my helmet. This helmet is all kinds of dirty. So, we're gonna be ready to weld in no time. Maybe on. We got everything selected right. I love the sound of that clunk. We got this right. Yeah. Got this right. Yeah. You want AC, not DC, right? Uh, doesn't matter. Okay. I, I 
Okay, here's your chart here. You have different thicknesses of rods, and then you have types of rods on the side. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter. Um, it only it only really matters on the kind of rod you have. Uh huh. Seventy eighty is one, is this one? Okay, let's try this. Cover. Cover. So you can see here kind of the finished result here of the trailer work that we did. The the flat welds turned out very good. The corner welds turned out good. But these end pieces, since our piece of metal was kind of mangled up, they didn't turn out too great. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe to YouTube's best channel. Anyway, until next time, this is Geekkeeper signing off.